Hello and welcome to a unboxing video. I have been ordering a lot of stuff online. I've heard you can do that now, so I got uh, all kinds of stuff. I already unpacked a few things that uh, came in, but most of the stuff uh, is uh, right next to me here and I haven't unpacked yet. And I actually don't exactly know what I've ordered because I've been ordering so much, I basically know. Starting off with this, this is the um, uh, crucible tongs for my uh, electric furnace. I kind of need to oil this, but this is the basic uh, thing. But it, uh, start, I started getting a hard time uh, gripping the crucibles that, uh, that were worn down a bit. So I ordered a cheap ass other one, which actually came with this thing. This is if you are holding the crucible and you're pouring the crucible will not slide out like I had happen a couple of times with this one. But this opening is slightly too big. So uh, at some point I will probably be heating this up and, um, and bending it a bit more to make it uh, more tight. So I can use this one for um, worn down crucibles and just use this one for the newer ones. So yeah, that's uh, one item. And since I uh, have collected uh, some more lead and zinc, uh, I got uh, a, a whole full bucket of zinc wheel weights and I got some lead ones too. And I still have some battery lead. I thought, um, let's get some more uh, cool silicone molds. So I found one with spoons. Now, of course, if I'm going to be making spoons out of lead, I will not be stirring my coffee with them, but just a fun, uh, shape just for testing. I think this was like a euro or whatever. What uh, it's just all all very flimsy, uh, cheap uh, stuff just for testing purposes. And um, I thought it might make for interesting videos. So I got all kinds of uh, silicone molds, and I don't exactly know which ones are uh, came in. So let's have a look here. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's get the old Swiss Army knife. See what we got here. Oh yes, this is a cool one. Hand grenade. But this is actually it's two halves, which you can Put together like Legos, kind of Lego, like this. And probably use some clamps on it for uh, reinforcing. So I'm going to be trying to make a lead hand grenade. That would be a cool little ingot. So yeah, very eager to start using this one. Now I have... Uh, like I said, some wheel weights, and that should be enough to make at least one of these. So this is a cool one. Uh, next time I'm going to be doing uh, lead, I will use this. All right, what else do we have? What is this? Aha. Uh -huh. I thought these would be bigger. Oh, and they're quite shallow. Get off with plastic. So yeah, chocolate bars. I just thought of making copper chocolate bars because uh, the, the copper muffin kind of looked like a chocolate cookie. But then again, 1100 degrees, that's not so good for uh, silicone. Silicone doesn't like it. But maybe I'll be able to make a couple of lead uh, chocolate bars again this was cheap stuff so we'll see how well it holds up Let's get rid of some of this here what else do we have uh -huh. 
more silicone molds. Game controllers. Old Nintendo, PlayStation, old Sega, and I think, that, yeah, Xbox 360, I think. But these are quite small. I figured these would be bigger. But then again, nice little, little ingots. This is strong stuff, by the way. This is uh, some strong silicon there. I'll leave this in the plastic for now. See, there's more in here. Some superhero stuff. The Captain America shield, the old Batman logo, and the Superman logo. Also tiny stuff, by the way. But again, this is a quite sturdy mold. Let's see what else we have. Oh! Big Superman logo. Or, well, bigger. This is nice. I hope the, this will hold up to zinc. Would be very cool to have one made of zinc. Would be more awesome if it held up uh, for brass, then I could have a golden Superman logo, which it's supposed to be, actually. I'm Batman. And Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man would, again, be cool if I could do it in copper, because copper is reddish, or orangey reddish. But then again, that'll melt through the silicone. And that was that. So, been shopping for a lot of molds. Let's see. Oh, more silicone molds. Be quiet out there. Alright, so what do we got here? I ripped this open earlier. Legos. I believe this was part of like a whole set. See it here. More Legos. These are actually quite cool uh, for ingots because they're well, basically ingot shaped or brick shaped. Well, they are bricks, Lego bricks. Come on with the plastic. Sticky stuff. So yeah, instead of boring bricks, you now have Lego bricks. And you can't have Lego blocks without Lego men. I just clicked on every Lego mold I could find. And got a, a hell of a lot of these. I think I've seen King of Random uh, use Gallium to make some Lego men. I think they probably use this the same mold. Or, or, or a similar one at least. I don't have any gallium, that would be cool stuff, see? And a big Lego man. And a few more small ones. Lego! These seem somewhat more flimsy, so... Ooh, this is very thin, I hope this will hold. Let's see. Slightly bigger than the green ones, and then there's the really big one. Way more in here. More Lego blocks is pretty in pink, and I think an even bigger Lego man, or is it the same size? This is basically the same size, slightly different shape, though. I think this one is better detailed. Well, kind of depends on the inside, I guess. Well, I'm gonna try those next time, I, uh, I'm gonna be doing lead and zinc. So, lots of Lego. What is this? Oh yeah, I think I know what this is. Mainly because it says so on the outside. I think I ordered a couple of these. Yes, I ordered three. These are actually uh, protective masks. Uh, five layer protection and they look kind of like ninja caps or ninja face protection thingy. They have the filtering system. I have one like this, 
but I was stupid enough to place it on the back of my mom's bike when I was done with it. And at some point she went out, not checking the back of the bike, and it probably fell somewhere where she was riding. And I lost it. So when working with lead and other stuff uh, that uh, has some uh, fumes, this uh, is the good way to go. And since uh, if you order one, you can also order three. I just got three, just to be sure. So I'll keep two in the package, use one, and when that's all worn down or I lose it again, then I have the other ones. So yeah, good stuff. Maybe at some point I will get like a real uh, respirator with like active filtering and stuff, but this is actually sufficient for stuff like this. I think I know, yes. Yes, go away. That's the downside of a corner house. This is, it says crucible on the package, but it is actually a bigger graphite mold for ingots. Because um, I am quite eager to start making some bigger copper ingots. It's basically the same deal as this little one, only bigger. So this actually fits in there, I think, see? Quite a lot bigger. I think this is um, 85 troy ounce. This one is 80 troy ounce. And um, I want to try copper ingots in these, but I'm quite afraid that they might get fused in there. And uh, since this is cast iron, you don't really hammer this off. But yeah, these are uh, just about the same size. Uh, this one is uh, straight, so uh, it's a 90 degree angle in the in the bottom. And this one has, um, what was that called, beveled edges or, or slopes. So uh, yeah, that'll uh, make uh, the ingots fall out easier. As you ha might have seen for uh, uh, pewter and, uh, and uh, zamac and, and uh, aluminium, that works pretty dang well. Um, even for uh, brass that worked uh, pretty well. I'm willing to try it at least once for copper and if it doesn't go the way I feel it should go then I'm just sticking with uh, these for copper. And I've also found uh, a website which makes custom molds so I can basically uh, have them, I don't know, make, I think it's like kind of like 3D printing but more like 3D CNC work to uh, cut these uh, out and maybe get like a really big personalized ingot with my logo in it and uh, I can then stamp them sequentially and maybe do some giveaways if uh, my pile of ingots gets uh, quite big. Well, the aluminium pile is big but copper not so much yet. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Ah, yes. This is empty, that is empty. I've made a mess here. This I opened because it was heavy and I checked already, so sorry about that. It's not real surprise there. But these are small plastic red boxes and some of you might recognize these. I'll uh, open the biggest one here because they're basically all the same, only different sizes. Open up. These are stamps with numbers on them. So uh, you have nine of them. So that's uh, one through zero, two zero. But that would suggest you needed ten. But the good thing about the six, if you turn it around, it's a nine. So this counts for two of them. So there's actually, I, I thought in the beginning, oh my God, they sent me nine instead of ten. Because there is a zero. Then which one is missing? And then I was looking at counting. Wait, the nine is missing. And then at some point I counted another one. Hey, wait, the six is missing here. Wait a minute. And then I realized, yes, if you turn a six around, it's a nine and vice versa. So these are numbers for putting on uh, like weight. And I got all different sizes. If I get smaller ingots, like uh, if I want to put anything on ingots like this, then I got 
tiny ones. It's basically, four of these are bigger than nine of these. So I think these are two millimeter letters and these are one centimeter or ten millimeter uh, numbers, not letters. So, that's a heavy little box there. And of course, if you get letter, uh, get numbers, you also need letters. Which I didn't unpack yet, but that's this big and heavy pack. Oh, and I think some stuff broke, looking at it. Yes. Dang postal workers. These have probably all come in with broken little boxes. Because yes, packaging is expensive. Right. There we go. Nice letters. And I got uh, 12 and a half millimeters, 10 millimeters, 8 six four and two so all sizes and uh, numbers and uh, and letters so from now on i will be stamping my ingots well only the nice ones too bad this is all broken uh, i have to make a nice um, i don't know little cupboard for them to put them in so one more thing <clears throat> All right. Ha ha! I've seen a couple of YouTubers use this. Um, Big Stack D has one. Um, I believe this is a blue one. He uses a yellow one. Well, the color doesn't say much, but his doesn't go over. 1100 degrees or so or, or at least doesn't go over 1200 I think it was and if I'm correct okay thanks so much for your support and and Annabelle Annabelle reminds me of eek the cat Annabelle Oh well, um, I think I saw Metal Scrapper unbox uh, the same uh, thing because he uh, um, provided me with the info for this thing so I could get it also. I thought these were really, really expensive, but actually these, this one was like 40 euros or so, I don't know. Um, I am, however, somewhat worried about the accuracy of these things, but it's better to know something than to know nothing about your temperature. Um, yeah, I've seen that this was in one of his uh, unboxings as well. And this comes with a manual and a package. And I probably have to get batteries for it. So yeah, I will now be able to um, measure the temperature of my furnace and of my ingots and my liquid metal. So... I know the, the, the melting points uh, of the metals, but you don't want to have your metal uh, just over your melting point. You want to have it slightly hotter to make it more fluid and to not have it solidify while pouring. So that's where this comes in handy. Right, I'm going to put this away for now. So a lot of cool and handy stuff and um, more stuff for the channel and i will be uh, getting more uh, graphite uh, ingot molds in the future and um, maybe uh, other um, clay graphite crucibles i still haven't tampered my first one i should do that at some point and maybe at some point i will go devil forge but yeah not just yet um what else did i want to say Yes, um, one of my fellow metal casters and, and creators on uh, YouTube, uh, SW Dweeb, uh, also known as Perry, 
Um, he's a cool guy. He's uh, very good at teaching and explaining things. And uh, uh, I learned quite a lot from him. And he, um, uh, what's the term? He ushered in a event he wanted to organize called the 2019 Openers Open, which is basically make a bottle opener. Doesn't really matter if you cast it, forge it. Um, I heard people say, I'm going to knit one, but I'm not guessing that's going to be that handy. Make one out of clay, 3D print one. Everyone who is a creator can make a bottle opener. And I think the goal was the 24th of May. So it's, um, what is it now? It's like May 5th or something. Uh, yes, it's May 5th. And um, I haven't even started yet, and I really want to participate in this. I have some ideas, but I'm not sure they're going to work. I am going to try to participate, and if you think you can participate and um, create a bottle opener, um, I will put a link to uh, the video of him uh, announcing this uh, this uh, uh, well contest. It isn't really. It's more just... Um, Let's all join in and make stuff. Um, but if you just uh, Google uh, or hashtag 2019 openers open, all attached, no spaces, then you'll find uh, what he's talking about. Um, but I will link his uh, video uh, in, uh, in the description. So yeah, um, that's what I've been, uh, been up to uh, the, the last weeks uh, online, ordering all kinds of stuff for your fun and um, well my fun as well of course and um, maybe i'll be able be even able to wreck some of this stuff on camera that's always fun to watch stuff going wrong and um, yeah if not then i'll uh, have uh, quite a lot of uh, metal legos uh, pretty soon and a cool hand grenade i really want to try that one and um, if i uh, get any more uh, cool stuff for my channel i will of course uh, show that here um, I've got some uh, uh, scrapping and sorting to do. Uh, scrapping videos will, will also uh, be uploaded soon. Uh, I got some dumpster diving videos coming. If you're interested, go look for the 2019 openers open. And I would love to see many, many people participating and seeing all kinds of different crafts build stuff. Because creative stuff is always fun to watch. So remember this thing, let's see if I can get some uh, letters stamped in there, I'll uh, try to put my name in it. There we go, can barely see it. Ah, oh, there we go. Not bad. So that's basically how they work. This is a piece of crap, so for ingots this will probably be a lot better. And first you polish them and then uh, sand them and make them all smooth and stamping them then will get you some nice results. So that was it. See you on the next one.